So ever since I was a little girl, I became obsessed with heroes. You know, having heroes or superheroes in films or just in life, even real life superheroes. And especially being an actress, I learned over and over and over again, you know, that you don't have to be an actor to step into the hero inside yourself. Say you walk into a movie, right? And you have the action hero character and everything's blowing up in their face and like, what if they just went under a rock and started crying and gave up? Like, they would no longer be the hero and you'd probably walk out of the film because it sucks, right? What character are you playing every day? And every day, how different would your life be if every day you asked yourself the question, am I gonna be the victim character? I'm gonna step into my own hero and play the hero of my own life story. What if you could decide ahead of time that no matter what you go through, that you're gonna be the hero of your own life's movie. That no matter what happens, you know you're gonna figure it out because the hero always does. You're the only you that there will ever be, ever. <laughs> like you are the only you that there will ever be, ever. That is powerful. Once we actually grasp that concept, you know, knowing that throughout all of space and time, there will never be another you. And maybe the challenges that you're going through, maybe the insecurities that you face, what if those can actually become your strengths? What if those are actually your superpower? What if love was a superpower? What if creativity was a superpower? You know, what if imagination was a superpower? What if it's up to us to decide, to discover, to develop, and to strengthen those superpowers that we have that enable us to become the hero of our own life story? You know, and you can decide to be the hero of your own life story, but you have to decide every single day, and you have to make a real decision <laughs> that no matter what happens, that you'll always get back up, that you'll always find a way. You know, there's no lack of resources there's only lack of resourcefulness. You know, how resourceful can you be? You know, how could you look at this problem differently? How could you look at this challenge differently? How could you perceive it differently so that it would actually empower you rather than disempower you? You know, and what if the things that you're going through right now that seem so hard, that seem so challenging, what if that could enable you to be the superhero? You know, every superhero ever goes through extreme difficulties, you know, gets like challenged beyond belief, but that's what makes them strong. The seemingly worst things that happen to me, the things that knock me off my feet, the things that I literally lay in bed months and months and months for and get so sad about, it's those things when I look back on them, those were the things that made me the best. Because if I wouldn't have gone through that thing, I wouldn't have learned that lesson and I would have been able to help me get to where I really wanted to be. So what if you woke up every day and asked yourself the question, am I gonna be the victim today? Am I gonna be the, the villain today? Or am I going to be the hero today? You know, what kind of movie are you writing? What kind of character are you going to play? You know, you're the writer, you're the director, you're the producer, you're the actor. You can change things the way you want to, but you have to decide. Decide right now that you'll no longer let your life go on autopilot. You'll no longer let life just decide for you so that no matter what happens, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how scared you are, no matter how much life knocks you off your feet, that you'll know ahead of time that it doesn't matter because you're the hero and the hero always figures it out. But it is up to you, you know, that nobody's gonna come and save you because you're the hero. You have to save yourself. And that all starts with a decision. Like you can decide right now that you are no longer gonna be the person you were yesterday. But that takes a real decision. That takes creating systems and patterns and habits that will create a whole different life trajectory. What you repeatedly do every single day. You are what you repeatedly think every single day. So much of that comes down to your inner world, right? Your inner world reflects your outer world. But if you can fill your inner world with so much love and compassion and creativity and curiosity and imagination. When you were a little kid, <laughs> did you not spend most of your days imagining all the awesome things you were gonna do? Like, why did you let that stop? Like there's so much energy, there's so much strength, there's so much power and creativity and imagination and love. Like those are literally, I believe, our superpowers. But it's up to us to strengthen those every single day. Like what did you do today to get stronger in your creativity? What did you do today to build your ability to love both yourself and people and the world around you? You know, it's up to us to decide to strengthen those superpowers within us. 
want to discover them, to strengthen them, to develop them, and to use them every single day. You know, if you don't use it, you lose it. It is our want to succeed and the fear of failure that holds us back from being fully capable of what we're actually capable of. We have so much potential, it's insane, but we hold ourselves back so much because we're too worried about being perfect or that we're not enough or we're too afraid to fail. What if you could let go of every little thing in your mind that's telling you that you're not enough? We are only as powerful as we allow ourselves to be. And I just hope that this video reminds you of the power that you have inside of you to disrupt any doubt, any fear, any limiting belief, and become the hero of your own life's 